Good morning, good morning, rise and shine. And what a beautiful morning it is as I trip over everything on the deck. Uh, that's party number one done with, and it was wonderful. And of course the treat is we get to wake up in beautiful surroundings like this. I gotta say the first mate looks a bit worse for wear and he's got a few more parties to go. I've got a headache. What have I done to deserve this? I don't know how I'm gonna power through this weekend to be honest. It's only Saturday morning and the celebrations and Halloween fiestas are continuing all the way until Tuesday. So uh, I think pacing myself is gonna be the name of the game. So I don't expect to work much. I'm sure I can cope. They never expect to work much, of course, but then it's the captain's duty to keep them on their toes, isn't it? Right, it's turning into a wonderful first shakedown cruise. We had so much fun last night uh, in Gary's place. Everyone has dressed up and there was so much delicious food and uh, a lot of drinking as well. So let's see how today goes. Well, despite the little bit of a hangover from last night's party, uh, we both feel so, so glad to be back out here and back on the boat again. Waking up to this in the morning on anchor, it's just paradise. And uh, we feel so lucky to be living this life out here. Uh, I don't think it's ever gonna feel normal. These surroundings in Bocas are some of the most special uh, that we've found in our cruising so far. It's a really cool place. And I think Bocas will always have a special place in our hearts. Despite the total lack of wind and the fact that we have to motor everywhere, it's only very short distances, short hops, so uh, even the captain can put up with that. I'm already trying to persuade the captain that we should come back here next year to wait out the hurricane season again. I think we have found another little sea of Cortez here. Just pure tranquility and paradise. I love the fact that you don't have to watch the weather here. It's so sheltered everywhere you go. There's not a hint of swell or waves anywhere in sight. So calm, peaceful nights guaranteed. Apart from when the storms come occasionally. Or if the first mate's got a few too many cocktailinas. Well, happy crew, happy captain. And I can tell the first mate's happy because the captain just got handed a freshly made smoothie out of the companionway. Cheers. Hangover will be gone in no time. This is how we roll nowadays. In the evenings, cocktails from the blender. In the morning, detox and smoothies. Just an endless cycle on Bohemia of detox and retox. <laughs> as long as there's tox, it's fine. That's the only guaranteed part of life on board. <laughs> bocas, bocas, bocas. We've only just arrived in the Caribbean and crossed the Panama Canal, of course, and I'm already catching myself wondering, are we gonna find anywhere better than this? It's just a, such a special place for us. Well, can't wait to uh, get settled in and go to town later. Party number two awaits. I'm ready. Getting shaky hands already. <laughs> and tonight's outfits are something different. Yeah, that's gonna be an interesting one. I'm being dispatched down below again. Everything looks fantastic from the top, but we need to check that she doesn't need a good scrub. It's been exactly three months since we washed her last. So uh, let's see how the paint has done, eh? Wow, this is absolutely amazing. It looks like we washed her two weeks ago. I can't believe it. There's either something in this lagoon water that there is no growth, or we have some sort of magic paint because three months, no cleaning, and it's like brand new. Can't believe it. One less job for the first, mate. We can go to town and party, eh? Result. I mean, really, this is crazy. <laughs> I'm now wondering whether somebody has cleaned our boat by accident while we were away. Maybe the marina neighbor will be very disappointed when he or she comes back to their boat. Reporting for duty. Finally, this is how it should be, right? This is the new uniform on Sailing Bohemia. 
I think there's a little bit of confusion about which one of us is the captain, though. Clearly, I'm the admiral. <laughs> you can all see it, right? So anyway, this is the outfit. How cute, eh? What do you think? Does it suit us? Definitely. I think we should be sailing every day dressed like this. <laughs> From now on, this is the uniform. Next season. I don't know, he looks a bit gay to me. <laughs> Focus doesn't disappoint when it comes to nightlife. But to our surprise, Bohemia's two old sea dogs managed to keep up with the cool kids until the early hours, even managing to throw a few shapes on the dance floor. Well, the party is officially and truly over. We are back in the marina with a slight headache and we are back to the bow jobs. Absolutely. What better cure for a bad hangover than a bit of marina work? Just what the first mate loves the best. Uh, this is our what's becoming our annual job, uh, which is restitching the sun cover on our beloved Genoa. Um, I think it was probably put on a little bit too tight, and so whenever we pull it really tight and crank it down when we're going close hauled, uh, these stitches tend to uh, pop out, at least after about six months in the sun. So we just have to keep redoing them. This is probably the third or the fourth year that we've restitched this thing. So it's not the best, but it gets us through. Uh, maybe we'll get one more year out of it and uh, it might be time for new sales. This Genoa actually came with Bohemia, so we think it's around 22 years old. And of course, we have picked the hottest part of the day. <laughs> it's midday and it's absolutely roasting. But we've got to do it today because tomorrow the rains are supposed to be coming again and uh, we don't do it today we will never leave this marina so hopefully we can fix it all this afternoon tomorrow morning we put the sail up and in a few days we will be ready to depart it's really hot i'm sure the refreshments trolley is going to be around any minute now i can hear the wheels squeaking in the distance that was my clue welcome to paradise Job done. Still waiting for those refreshments though. Six in the evening. Finally, the sun is coming down and we can continue with the jobs. It's absolutely crazy how hot it is during the day. So literally from midday to about five o'clock, we can't be outside, we can't do anything. So today's task is to mark our anchor chain. We have lost all of the markers uh, over the year. I think we've got one left, which is on 50 feet of chain. Yeah, previously we marked the chain with paint and I came up with some color coding system. It was needlessly complicated. And uh, of course, as the chain has aged and rusted, it's all worn away. So it's just guesswork at the moment whenever we arrive in any anchorage, just drop some chain and hope for the best. So we thought we'd make it a bit more scientific again and uh, go back to our roots. The safest anchoring is about to start. Oh, I forgot how heavy this thing was. This doesn't feel like the captain's job. How did I end up doing all the hard work? It's just pressing a button. Very complicated. Levers and buttons are my department. I think he's anchored a bit too close though. Some suspect measuring going on with our previous marking here. Don't know who did this job last time around. Captain's 
providing all the tension today. It's a real roll reversal. There we go. Another job done. I'm sure it's time for happy hour. We've earned it today. Oh, it's so sad. It's one of our last walk on this island because in two days time we are leaving. It's been absolutely amazing and wonderful to be here. But the time has come that we set sail again. Yeah, Red Frog is always going to have a special place in our hearts, I think. We've done a record turnaround uh, since we arrived only uh, less than a week ago. Uh, but now we're ready to get the show on the road. If we stay any longer, I think we may never leave. The first mate's already been eyeing up a bigger slip and a bigger boat to put in it. So part of the marina complex is those independent businesses as well. So now we are in Palma, which is a wonderful little beach bar, restaurant and accommodation. And it's just dream come true. But just the location, it's like you are a Robinson Crusoe in the middle of a jungle. This place, the setting is just amazing. It's picture postcard territory all around. And we were saying just the other day, walking amongst these huts in the jungle that you can rent, that even without Bohemia, we'd be very happy staying in a place like this. This is an absolutely amazing place. If you have anyone come to visit you while you're on the boat in the marina, uh, they can have their peace in a jungle lodge just around the corner and you can meet up a cocktail. What could be better? Have a look at this. There you go. You've got friends and family coming. You just shove them in one of these and you don't need to know about them for a week. That's the first mate's approach to all visitors, I think. But in this case, they'd be very happy with it. So this is the lodges and they have the AC. And if you want to be having more of a jungle experience, you can also have these tents. I think that's how we're going to put the in-laws. No AC. It's just a bit humid here. This is a real jungle experience. Just the noises that are all around you as you're sleeping. Must be quite magical. We are just taking a quick path from the beach up the hill to the second accommodation, which is called Salinas. It's slightly cheaper than Palma uh, because it's not beachfront, but it's really in the middle of a jungle on the hill with fantastic views. If only we'd have known about this before we came to Red Frog uh, and Bocas, we'd have already had a, a string of visitors lined up. That's one of the downsides of cruising for us is we like to try somewhere out, test it. We never quite know what we're gonna get until we arrive, uh, but it does make planning for visitors somewhat difficult. Uh, so here you go, it's our gift to you. <laughs> it's a pretty safe spot to have people come in if you're passing by. That's right, if any of you are in Bocas del Toro with your boat, this is the place to have visitors. Practically there's no weather, no danger from the sea. Um, the water is all nice and clean and calm. And actually the options of accommodation are just amazing. These cottages on the stilts look pretty special. I wouldn't mind moving in here myself one day. Look at the view. Feels like you're in the canopy. Okay, captain's getting real thirsty now. I hear there's a cocktail bar around the corner somewhere. Salvation at last. Cheers. Super spooky thanks in this episode go to our latest patrons for their generous contributions to Bohemia's Liquor Locker. Thank you to Larry and Sandra from the Bay Area who are currently cruising Mexico. Thank you so much and here's to you. If you've been enjoying our episodes and want to keep the captain bitching and the first mate doing what he does best, then follow the link on screen to find out more. <laughs>